All right, hello everyone, and welcome back to Wasteland 3. So we're back at the base, and I'm just going to uh, kind of look around and see if I missed anything. Uh, I know that there are uh, some new people here at the base that I've recruited. So I'm just going to do a quick look, see, and see. Okay, we do have here... Okay, Inspector Delgado. We rescued him. Um, let's just see what he's got for now. And we'll just sell our junk. He does have a lot of stuff, but I don't have a ton of money. Um, let's just look and see what we're working with here. Uh, I'm not gonna... Ooh, you know what? I want to get the sneaky shit. Okay, I do have some of those skill books. Uh, that'd be good to use. What's in here now? Um, we have Doc Parker and Irv. Okay, cool. Um, let's see. Let's get this medical crate. Oh, there's an armor crate over there. I, I missed that. Amber. Uh, I still think that that is Doc Parker's daughter. Uh, don't quote me on that. I'm not exactly 100% sure. But that is my story and I'm sticking to it. Let's lockpick this and see... Um, we do have some leg armor, which is good because I actually was looking, waiting for some of that because I needed some. Um, let's talk to Doc Parker and get our squad all healed up, ready to go. Um, patched up. Okay, have a seat. Good to go. Alright. How's that patient? Everything is fine for now. For now, okay, never mind. Just don't get uh, we got Irv over there, he's doing his thing. Did I get this medical crate? Probably tr trying to make clones. Which I guess is bad. Uh, I don't know too much about the Wasteland uh, story. But I guess... What? Come say hey when you're free. Uh, Private hey, Jody I'm Bell. Feeling much better now. Ready to help out anyone? You bet. Ready when you are. Oh, nice. Okay. Um, so we're gonna try Jody. Um, she's a driver. Looks like she has a sniper and a mechanic. Um, let's get rid of Lucia's pretty good, but let's let's get rid of her. Um, let's take a look at our new pant armor. Um, plus two armor. Demi needs a helmet. We'll give him this. Uh, we got that. Marshall doesn't have anything. And neither does uh, Lucia. Or sorry, not Lucia, Jody. Uh, four strength. I may need to bump up her strength then. Mm, so she can... I want to get her at least over 100 health. Let's bump up her strength. And then we'll give her a... Um, I wonder... I get that critical critical chance up a little bit here with the sniper. Let's take a look and see. Hold on. Uh, I'm, I'll go back. It's intelligence, awareness, and luck. Okay, we'll go with intelligence then. She does have the mechanic skill. Uh, we can do the snipers. We'll go there. We'll go mechanics. We'll go whisper, and we'll go first aid. Nice. Okay, and then we got a perk. Um, she already has this one. What's this? Precision strikes with snipers have significantly higher chance of increase, uh, increasing, uh, inflicting critical effects, which I think are those, like, if you hit the head. Let's get that. And then, um, we'll also do animal companions. We're just gonna go crazy with animal friends. Let's take a look at our sniper. What do we got? 70 to 96. Yeah, this is better. Need to arm her up. We'll give her the rad tech armor. And we'll give her these legs. There we go. Cool. Nice. Alright, I'm going to autosave uh, because I've been getting into situations where my game just freezes and it's been kind of annoying. Looks like they got a delivery for us. So let's go check that out. Uh, Sergey. Glad to see you back, Rangers. Now, deliveries. Arapaho caravaner dropped off a container nice. full of. Happy to tell. Uh, I don't really care. Now. 
Goodbye. I'll be here. Okay. Um, let's see. Anything over here? What do we got? Lock picking again. More bucks. Some loot. Encyclopedia. Okay. Um, what is this? Another lock pick desk. A lore book. What is that? Radio static. Oh, he's the radio guy. That's right. Okay. Got that. Um, let's keep on going down this way. I don't have anyone who can do toaster repair. Which I probably should, but... Let's get this container. I'm surprised I missed this container. It's a creepy doll. Radical Rachel. That's the stuff of nightmares. Um, okay. Nothing really over here. And we'll go back... This away. Uh, I haven't recruited anyone over here yet. Uh, ne no one for the mess lab. And Hope Emerson. Talk to her and see. Wait, Warden. What can I do for you? How the prisoners? You talk about the prisoner you found when you first got here. The one who survived by eating fungus and bugs. I know you decided to keep him locked up. And I'm not saying you're wrong. It's just, do we know he's broken any laws? And even if yeah, he killed I someone. Know, he's a little unsettling to talk to. But is that goodbye. Good luck out there. Um, he poisoned, or I guess he didn't poison. He fed mushrooms to someone and tried to cover up their murder with the uh, electricity. So yeah, we're not gonna let him out. Kind of uh, weird that she would ask me. But anyway, let's uh, continue here. We don't have anyone in the mess hall, like I said. Still need to get someone. And uh, I think that's everything. Let's get out. Hi, I'm Austin. I'm new. Welcome Austin aboard. P. Oh, yeah, this is Hello, the guy Rangers. we rescued. Uh, um, I just wanted to say thank you again for saving my life. If you hadn't talked to Judge Watkins, well, I wouldn't be here. And... And I'm really happy to be here. I guess that's all I wanted to say. Oh, and uh, Mom thanks you, too. Cool. All right, we saved him. Uh, what is this? Wolf. I got a proposition for you. You're the CO around here. Quality setup this time. Better than back in AZ. Guess Daddy Buchanan's buying you all the good gear. Who Gary are Wolf, you? Freelance security consultant and synth hunter. Got a proposition synth hunter, huh? I helped the Rangers during their whole Cochise debacle. They might have come out strong if they'd listened to me. Too bad. What do you want? After the Rangers nuked Cochise and themselves, I figured somebody competent had to chase down its mechanical brood. So I recruited folks who'd lost family to synths, and I formed a posse. Decommissioned a dozen of the plastic punks in AZ. Then heard a feud headed east and followed them here. Now I'm getting flack from that tin star twat Daisy for exchanging fire with the synth we tracked to Colorado Springs. That's where you come in. Interfering bitch told the marshals to shoot us on sight if we stepped inside the city limits again. So we can't go after this October 11 synth. Was hoping you might be interested in taking care of it for us. Cash All right, yeah, that sounds good. Head. Um. Why is he called yeah, October 11? No idea why. Synths are weird that way. It and another synth called Tourmaline caged some sieves on their way here, just for kicks. So watch yourselves. All right. Eleven is a stone killer. Got to be neutralized before it kills again. And killing it will help us find its comrades. Um, how will this killing of October 11? Help us find others. All synths got a radio in their heads. Let's them communicate long distance and triangulate on each other. Once I crack Eleven's head open, I'll hack it for their locations. You want to go after the others too? I'll make it worth your time. All right. All right. <laughs> Add it to your list. Ought to be your top priority. Whatever. We'll wait here until you bring back its head. Should still be downtown somewhere. You'll know you're near it when you start hearing weird static on your radio. 
Squad at ease. All right, cool. All right, so we have that quest now uh, to find October 11. All right, so we're back in Colorado Springs here. Um, we're getting some of that radio static, which I think is probably from... Uh, oh, I could have got another cat. Which is probably actually from uh, the caravan that we rescued. I don't need anything in here yet. Um, where's Mama Cotter? I'm sure they can use my help. I think she was over here. Rangers, check me out. Thanks so much for ensuring we got this shipment of power armor. Hey, fuck you. Our job <laughs> is tough. Those shit stirring refugees are breeding all the time, so someone's got to do some. Anyway, population control for the. Themselves. Jesus. Um, Mama Cotter. Here we go. Let's talk to her. Hell do you want from Mama Cotter? We met some refugees at the bazaar. Said you hired smugglers. Maybe so. Where are those refugees now? Um. Shit. I knew I shouldn't have trusted those assholes. But they were the only ones who deal with me. Guess I know why they're so flexible on their price. <laughs> I owe you for keeping those refugees safe. Ain't nobody else around here who's willing to lift a finger for them. So, uh, what's it gonna be, hmm? You know I was breaking the city's law, conspiring with smugglers and all that. You gonna haul me in? She'll be safe in the Ranger lockup. Reyes would want her in jail. He's a powerful man to have as a friend. And the Rangers could use some powerful friends. Hmm. Well, am I under arrest? Um, uh-oh. They're just trying to make better... No. That's good. You mean we'll start looking, right, I, Mama? Uh, I'm, I'm going to be nice. Since... I didn't save those people from the Dorseys. I might as well help these people. No. I'm sending three of you boys to work for these rangers. Your dad oh, nice. fixing cars. I want you to help out around their garage. Whatever orders they give you, follow them. They're fine people, and we owe them. About time we got some mechanics at the base. And you rangers, take care of my boys. They're better mechanics than they are conversationalists. <laughs> and they'll keep your trucks roaring like mountain lions. Hope they'll be a big help to you. Bobby, Jess, Jim, gather up your things. You're working for the Rangers cool. now. Alright, we can... Uh, I'm going to save. And we can also level up uh, Vic here. Wait. Yeah. Alright, let's see. Small arms, luck, awareness, coordination. Okay, I just want to make sure. Um, um, let's see here. I wonder if I should do coordination. Um, we'll get another um, action point. Yeah, might as well. Then for skills. Uh, we'll do small arms. Might as well. Okay. We'll go back to Jody so that she can kind of be our uh, sniper. Okay, and now we have to find... Now, my game... Here's the thing. My game crashed, and so I kind of already know where October 11 is. Um, he is in this building right in here so we're gonna lock pick this and uh he is 
Like I said, the only reason I know this is because my yeah, I did the mission while I was recording it, and it froze. So, um, he is this guy right here with the gun on his back. Animatronic figures dressed like a marshal. Nothing differentiates it from any of the other figures in the display. And yet your radio is picking up weird noises from the spot. Just a sort of digital transmissions that should be coming from a Sith, according to Grey Wolf. Use your radio to... Uh, yeah, we'll do this. Grows louder. Some of the days next pops. What, what did you do to me? Let me go! Um, destroy Synth while it's going to be past it. Jesus. I'll loot it. And Doctor Octo Doctor October 11's head, synth eye, purified tar, and some scrap. Okie dokie. Let's get out of here. Wait a minute. There's some stuff in here. Let's go. Uh, let's uh, open this up. I gotta get the power. There we go. And we'll look at all this stuff. A brief history of the tibia. Medical supplies. Armor. Ooh, brainwave the stabilizer. Road warrior, blunt weapon. Alloy barrel. I think we need to go to the 100 families now to talk to Reyes. He's going to be pretty upset because he, he's, uh, like like the name says, like, um, you know, like a one percenter. I can't go in there, I forgot. Uh, but I'm going to save real quick. And we'll uh, head over to Broodmore Heights. Do that. Howdy, Rangers. Sorry about the clowning. Have to keep a low profile these days. This is your old pal Angie, otherwise known as Ranger Colonel Angela Death. Hmm. Huh. Forgotten already. Damn. Well, I served under General Vargas back when we were fighting that creep, Matthias the Messiah. Got sent out here to Colorado to reconnoiter a while back, and well, things took an unexpected turn. Oh, uh, okay. I'll bet. We came out here for the same reason as you. Because Command was hoping they could make an alliance with the Patriarch and get some, uh, foreign aid. Trouble was, the more we snooped around, the more we realized that good old Pappy Buchanan was a bloody-handed dictator that the Rangers shouldn't have nothing to do with. Huh? Unfortunately, Command didn't want to hear it. Told us they were going to make the deal anyway. Too desperate to be particular. We took a vote, the squad and me, and decided that just wasn't the Ranger way. Instead, we made a pact to take Buchanan down and help Colorado become the home of freedom that Arizona could have been if the Rangers hadn't lost the Citadel to Matthias. Where are you? Angel Gabriel's just bringing me another pina colada. Why do you think? We want you on our side, but not without seeing for yourself that Buchanan's a conniving shitbag. That's why I was calling. There's a man you should talk to, locked up in an old bunker in Broadmoor Heights and guarded by mercs. So you may have to do a little shooting to get to him, but when you do, 
ask him about his beefs with the Patriarch. It'll open your eyes. His name is Ironclad Cornite, hmm. a warlord of the Eastern Plains, and one goddamn tough son of a bitch. As to how you find him, I'm a little shaky on the details, but I'm told there's a hidden hatch on some monument at Buchanan Park in Broadmoor Heights. Okay. And listen, when you do find him, bust him out of there and do what you can to keep him alive. He could help you with liberty later. Also, if you need more firepower, he's got a shotgun for a left arm. Jesus. I don't reckon he would, no. But then he wouldn't approve of you talking to me either. That's true. Gracias, compadres, and good luck. I'll be in touch. Dead red over and out. All right, so uh, that's interesting, to say the least. Angel of Death, I'm not too sure why she's contacting us now. Probably because we made a name for ourselves. But uh, let's uh, head back to HQ. All right, let's go talk to uh, Wolf. Mm, where is he? There he is. Find that synth in Colorado Springs yet? Yep. Oh, no muss, no fuss. How about that? All right then. Here's the cash, as promised. Now, uh, one more thing. I was kind of afraid you'd be as pussy as the AZ Rangers, but it looks like you're serious. So I've got another proposal for you. We need a base of operations for our synth hunt, and it looks like you've got plenty of space. What do you say? We set up shop here. Uh, yeah, sure. Great. <laughs> we'll find a corner. <laughs> I mean, I don't care. And just to make the deal sweeter, how do you like to pick up a few more bounties? Like I told you, since communicate with each other long distance, that means when I hack October 11th's head, I'll be able to find its friends. Unfortunately, we're still on the trail of a pack of eastbound synths right now. So we can't stop and hunt for these. But it's got to be done, so I'll pay you to do it. Cash for each head. You want the job? Sure. Great. Now, let me just crack this egg. Okay. You see that light in the center? That's our current location. Actually, October 11's head. Those other lights around the middle one? Those are the other synths. Um, Denver? Hmm. A lot of interference. Maybe near a radio tower. Maybe two. Lots of other smaller EM signals, too. Probably got a whole bunch of robots around to protect it. Further up There's from Denver? There's some in the location signal, which means it's bouncing off the mountains from the foothills. That flickering means there's interference, so it's probably underground. Alright. Maybe it's coming from some kind of bunker or mine. Or maybe a nuclear silo inside a dormant volcano. Like some kind of supervillain. The hell? Aspen? Signal's imprecise. Bouncing around. Maybe in the mountains. Um. Great. All right. The sooner you end them, the sooner you get paid. Cool. Sounds good. All right. Let's save. And, um... Let's take a look at our characters here. Uh, upgrade here. Um, hmm. <laughs> Since my charisma is already up all the way, 